Welcome back. Business news continues now, and banks say that the number of younger Singaporeans taking up home loans has risen slightly in the last few years. Today, they form more than a third of those borrowing to finance a property. While default rates remain low for this group, banks are cautioning against over-committing. And here's Rebecca Mateo with more. A one-bedder condo in the city centre can set one back some 1.4 million Singapore dollars. 28-year-old Shamila Nakulan got her hands on this condo last year to pay the $350,000 down payment. The software test lead forked out half, while her parents chipped in for the other half. She's now hoping to repay her monthly home loan by renting out the unit. As we all aware that the housing prices in Singapore can be quite steep and I thought it would be smart of me if I was to secure a house as fast as I can. Sharmila is among a growing number of younger Singaporeans who are buying a private property. But is this something that remains out of reach for most? It's almost impossible to afford a private property in your 20s without the help of your parents. But how much must you be earning to buy a private home in your 30s? Well, as a rough estimate, a bank says that a combined monthly household income has to be at least $12,000 for a $1.5 million condo. That's also assuming that a couple has been saving quite a bit of their income and bonuses. Yet, a real estate firm says that since 2015, the number of private home buyers in the 26 to 35 age group has tripled. They now form 35% of all private home sales here. An analyst says there are a few reasons for this, including rising incomes, more flexibility to resell than build to order flats, and the hope of higher profit gains. The bulk of the transactions for this age group is uh, below 2.5 million. Uh, they would buy within what they can afford according to their respective incomes and they will bear rarely overstretch. Um, those who are planning to start a family or already have young children will usually buy near to their school of choice or somewhere near to their parents' homes. Ryan Chia, who bought his first condo last year at the age of 35, is a case in point. He and his wife chose their $1.2 million condo as it was near schools and their parents, which was important to them as they have a baby boy on the way. But he has been hit hard by rising interest rates. Back then, when I uh, when I took out the loan, the interest rate is about one percent. So the projected uh, monthly instalment is about three thousand one ish. But right now, the interest rate is because it's a floating interest rate is about four point five percent. So we'll come close to maybe like uh, three thousand nine to four thousand for monthly instalment. That is why he's considering changing his loan to a fixed interest rate one of about 3.5%. Banks here say that while there has been a rise in the number of young people taking out home loans, default rates for this group remain low. Still, they are calling for prudence. DBS Bank says that a home loan can be over 30 years. While a young home buyer might have less financial burden, they may over time take up other loans, such as buy a car or renovate their homes. Home loan is a long-term financial commitment with monthly repayment. So we encourage our customers to speak to us early on their affordability before committing to any purchase. This is largely to avoid a situation where the loan amount is insufficient and they need to come up with more cash for the down payment. Buyers should set aside savings of at least 12 months of monthly installments to be ready in case of job changes or increase in interest rates.